Good morning, Wildcats. Welcome back to a great week of learning. It is a Tuesday here at Westlane Middle School. Um, cold morning, actually, too. Uh, some of you asked me, like, why weren't we having a two-hour late today where there's certain temperatures and they make those decisions across Marion County? I uh, do want to let you know, if we ever do have a two-hour delay, though, uh, that we do not serve breakfast during two-hour delay. I'll let your parents know that yesterday in my message home. Um, so as it's cold, we do have WIDA starting this week. Uh, in fact, it is, um, uh, we do have, you're going to be ta looking a little bit at the WIDA uh, test area today for the other couple options. Um, and so your teachers are going to show you that right after announcements. Uh, we also, again, have WIN uh, tomorrow and Thursday so we can get the testing done. So we have a little extended advisories and we'll be doing uh, second steps and a few other things, making sure that we don't have, uh, we should have missing work yet, but looking forward to some of our grades and looking at, at that as well. Uh, grade report cards are posted on, on Skyward uh, in the portfolio section, so you can see those with your grades. And let's get to our morning announcement. All right, today is Tuesday, January 16th, 2024, and these are your morning announcements. Westlake Middle School is an avid school-wide side of distinction. The Westland, mission of Westland Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. Let's get wildcat ready, everyone. Our lanyards and IDs are around our necks. Binders and our student organizers are with us. Backpacks, fanny packs, and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers. Blankets stay at home. All right, read what you love reading challenge. The challenge is from today to February 16th. Read all about your favorite things. We will log minutes in Beanstack for the grade this grade level challenge. I'm calling it the also calling it the seventh grade invitational because they keep they keep winning these things. They've won three in a row. Um, read books from your favorite authors about your favorite genres, favorite topics, characters. Do you have a favorite series? Tell a friend about it. Be sure to tell your ELA and or advisory teacher when you read at home so they can log your minutes. That is going from now until February the 16th. All right, today is a advisory day uh, with Blue Day with advisory. We have advisory block one, block two, and the lunch period block three, block four, and block five. Don't forget that tomorrow night after school is Best Buddies, Wednesday, January 17th, 4.45 to 6 o'clock p.m. You're going to meet in the cafeteria. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Bellamy in C100. Yesterday was Dr. Martin Luther King Day, so we want to look at his um, uh, his life. We we do this every year. This is actually a student uh, made uh, PowerPoint presentation, and we do little chunks of it each time. It's such a good job that I keep running it. Uh, I run it every year because it's such a good, comprehensive job. So here we go. Again, yesterday was actually Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday as well as uh, his. Uh, National Day fell on his birthday. He was born in Atlanta, Georgia. He's actually born Michael Luther King, later changed his name to Martin. Uh, the house he grew up in at 501 Auburn Avenue is now a historic site that you can actually visit. Martin had a brother, Alfred, and a sister, Christine. His brother was, his father was Martin Sr., and he was a minister. His mother was Alberta Williams King, and she was a teacher. Uh, he was an excellent student at school. He skipped several grades in both middle school and high school, or elementary school and high school. He enjoyed reading books, singing, riding a bike, playing football and baseball. Martin went to Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. He was only 15 years old when he went to Morehouse. He received uh, discipline, uh, diplomas from Morehouse College in 1948 and Crozier Theological Seminary in 1951, Boston University in 1955, and he met over the phone during this time with the woman who would become his wife, Coretta Scott, in 1952. Martin and Coretta were married on June 18th of 1953 in Marion, Alabama. Martin's father, the Reverend King Sr., married them. Uh, Martin and Coretta uh, had four children, Yolanda Denise King, Martin Luther III, Dexter Scott King, and Bernice Albertine King. He then became a minister, and they moved to Alabama. Uh, civil rights in the 50s, we'll talk about, we'll end with this today, and then we'll pick up tomorrow with civil rights in the 60s. But he experienced racism early in life, he decided to do something to make the world a better, fairer place. During the 1950s, Dr. King became active in the movement for civil rights, and then when Rosa Park was arrested on December the 1st, 1955, he joined the bus boycotts in Birmingham, uh, or Montgomery, sorry, or I'm sorry, in Alabama. In December 5th, 1955, he was elected president of the Montgomery Improvement Association. This makes him the official spokesperson 
of the boycott. And then November 3rd, 1956, uh, less than a year later, but it took a while, the Supreme Court ruled that bus segregation is illegal. And that was just the start of his work for civil rights. And also in the 50s, uh, he has elected to speak to a crowd of 15,000 in Washington, D.C. And then in 1958, the United States Congress passed the first Civil Rights Act, and it's the first one since the end of the Civil War. He published his first book called Stride Towards Freedom. And he goes on a speaking tour. He's nearly killed when a woman in Harlem stabbed him. And in 1959, Dr. King visited India to study Gandhi's philosophy of nonviolence. He resigns from pastoring to concentrate on civil rights full time. And he moved to Atlanta to start directing the activities of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. And just a reminder, don't forget that there is Best Buddies tomorrow after school and Read What You Love Challenge. Also, Wildcat Focus, writing in your student organizer every class. Uh, Wildcat Focus is be on time to every class. And the focus, again, this uh, really focusing on this semester. Number one, your first effort needs to be your best effort. And two, embrace struggling. Uh, we can get better, but we have to struggle first. We can't just say we don't know how and then get the help. We need to struggle around with a little bit. That's how our thinking happens. All right, let's clean up Wesley. Make sure our messes are cleaned up in the hallways, cafeterias, classrooms, and restrooms. Uh, don't forget to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Uh, that's a couple of the cause that uh, helps prevent COVID and colds and flus. Also, cough and sneeze into your sleeve, please. Don't forget about going to honorschools.org and recognizing a teacher. Don't forget there's zero, keep your hands to yourself at Westlane. There's zero play fighting, zero two for flinching, zero neck slapping, zero shadow boxing. Also, don't forget, I just got a breaking news. We do have, don't forget, um, boys that sign up for lamplighters. We do have that this Thursday after school, lamplighters Thursday after school. Don't forget about our pass protocol. Each student gets an average of one pass a week and no pass in the first 20 minutes of last minutes of class. Also in the cafeteria, sit in the correct tables and facing your center and have your ID. Don't forget the bell does not dismiss you from class. The teacher does. Breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafeteria off the bus to get breakfast. And all food should be in the cafeteria. No food should be outside the cafeteria. Restroom privacy. Gentlemen, please make sure you're giving students the uh, using the restroom for appropriate privacy, especially in seventh grade. Don't forget about our cell phones. They should be in your locker between 925 and 425. They'll be taken if they're seen or heard. And don't forget our motto, Kata Wildcat, Kata Dia Mejora, which means every wildcat, every day, gets better. Hopefully everybody um, gets better today, and we'll have a terrific Tuesday. Thank you, everybody.